A ton of progress in year one under Steve Peichel for Rutgers. From seven wins to 15, won their first ever Big Ten tourney game. Some really good recruiting momentum. A lot to be excited about in Piscataway. And pleased to be joined by the head coach of the Scarlet Knights, Steve Peichel, along with a couple of his players, Mike Williams and Corey Sanders. Guys, first of all, congratulations on the jump that you made last year. I know you're not anywhere close to being satisfied, but it was so evident to those of us who had watched this team in the previous few years how much you had improved. What were you proudest of with that team, Coach? You know, I'm proud. The, these two guys really uh, embraced the changes. You know, when you take over a program, you got a lot of new things, taught to a lot of new players, and they embraced it, and our community, Rutgers Nation, was excited. They came out and supported us, and, you know, we really proved that we could compete Pete, you know, in what I think is the best league in the country, and these two guys were a big part of that. What was the biggest thing you guys learned about yourselves as a team last season, Mike and Corey, that, that you can carry forward to this season? Um, well, to be honest, uh, I learned that, you know, we just have to fight, you know, continue to fight, you know, continue to put our energy into practice, and, you know, just keep team working hard. You know, um, we have a never-say-die attitude. We just got to keep that forward going to this season. Um, for me, it was uh, if you buy into the system, if you buy into everything that, you know, coaches are trying to instill into you, that um, you can win games and things can happen for this program. So, you know, uh, we're taking the momentum that we had last year and we're just trying to bring it to this year uh, as well. Again, I know you have much higher aspirations, but to win a Big Ten tournament game against a traditional Big Ten powerhouse, uh, what did that mean to you guys? It was a great feeling, you know, our first Big Ten win in the tournament. Um, you know, we celebrated on it, and, uh, you know, it was unfortunate that we lost our next game, but just to have that feeling of, you know, we can do it, you know, um, it brought a lot of momentum to our team, so, you know, we're just going to try to keep it rolling. Mike? Like Corey said, you know, it was it was a great it was a great experience. You know, um, my first two years, we didn't win any Big Ten games in the tournament, so, you know, to have... You know, I'm, I was relieved to just get one, but now we're not satisfied with that. But hopefully we, um, we want to play another day. So the biggest thing that stood out in watching you guys was how hard you played, how much you got everyone to buy in, particularly on the defensive end of the court. What was the challenge there? I mean, how did you get everyone kind of pushing in the same direction? You know, I mean, it's always tough and, and to try to build a culture around defense it travels with you it's a consistent part of your program and rebounding too we really jumped up in the right. rebounding yep. um, statistics uh, but it gave us chances to win games and as we improve and I think these guys had a great summer which is a big part of that as we improve we'll be able to win games differently you, sometimes your offense will be great and you'll be able to win games that way but if you have a basis and an anchor and I've done this for a long time at a lot of programs you got to have an identity our identity is going to be on the defensive end of the floor and, and playing hard every night and that travels well, too. Right. It's clearly an effort thing, and yeah, effort has to be coached. So give me a sense of what he's like <laughs> at practice, guys, getting you to, to that level. Well, Coach, you know, um, his energy is second to none. He's very passionate about the game. You, you can see he loves the game. He wants to learn. He wants us to, he wants to teach us. And, you know, um, just in practice, he's very, like, he's energetic. You know, he, sometimes he gets out there and shows us how, how it's really done. You know, it, it, it shows us uh, um, he's, like, he's just like us. Yeah, uh, like, like Mike said, coach is great with us, man. Um, you know, probably one of the best coaches that I've played for. Um, it's, a, it's wonderful to play for him. You know, he lets you um, do your thing. But, you know, in, in, in the system that we have, and, um, you know, I'm just glad to have him here, you know, just and be able to work with him. A few scholarship freshmen. You added a junior college player as well. Give us a sense for the additions to this roster. You, you know, I really think, uh, you know, we've added some pieces that we need. They're athletic. Um, you know, we we have some pieces that I think blend nicely with these two guys. Some guys that could shoot the ball, uh, really have good IQs. Sufi Mens is going to be one of our better defenders, so he brings an element defensively. Geo Baker, you know, can shoot, pass, and dribble, uh, and and really likes playing with these two guys. So I think we. We've added some pieces that are going to make our veteran players better and that are going to make our team better. And then we have a couple players up front that bring some physicality and some length, um, you know, that we desperately needed too. So I'm happy about the additions, but more, more proud of the players that came back are better. And you're going to see that when you see us play this year. And I know you can't talk specifically about them, but you've got some guys committed for next year too that are really at a high level and are maybe the kinds of players that Rutgers hadn't gotten a lot of in recent years. Give me a sense for what this recruiting 
kind of battle has been like and how you've been able to cut out a niche for yourself? You no, know, I think, you know, I got a great staff, first and foremost. And when you have great Carl Hobbs and Brandon Knight and Jay Young do a great job, um, you know, we've gotten out and, and we've beat the bushes. But I think there's great momentum at Rutgers. It's a great time to be a Rutgers student. Certainly a great time to be the head basketball coach. New practice facility, new weight room, new locker room, a great athletic director, you know, and we play in a great league. So there's tremendous momentum at our, at our university, and hopefully that keeps, you know, showing up on our roster and, and with the kind of players that we can attract. One of the things that's really cool is the fact that you're going to have the conference tournament now in your own backyard, although, as you were saying, it took four hours to get here yesterday. <laughs> a little due, traffic problem. Due to an accident <laughs> on the turnpike, so you weren't counting on a four-hour commute, yeah. but it likely won't be when we get to the Big Ten tournament. What does it mean to have it you know, literally in your backyard? I mean, I guess not literally, but <laughs> figuratively in your backyard. Well, for me, it's kind of literally because, you know, I was born and raised here in New York, so, you know, um, for, for my final year to be here at the Guardian, you know, it's ironic because, you know, normally it's, it's out west, you know, and like the other country, all the other states and stuff like that. But to have it here in New York City for my final year is just it's a, it's a surreal moment. Uh, it's great for us. You know, that means our fans don't have to go too far to come see us play. We'll have more people that's ready to support. And like Mike said, you know, this is a great homecoming for him. Um, we got a chance to play in the Garden last year. We had a terrific game against Wisconsin. Unfortunately, we lost in overtime. But, you know, just to have it close to home and have people be able to come support us is a great thing. All right, fellas, it's a little risky for me, but I've been told. I noticed you have the matching coats. <laughs> I've been told there's some interesting stuff going on inside those oh, yeah. coats. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is that true? Yeah, definitely. Okay, definitely. show me what you got. Like oh, you know, the RSI, you know, we got those this year. Yeah, oh, man. Wow. They hooked different, us up. You know. They hooked us up good. I like that. Yeah. No, you don't have that. I don't. <laughs> huh? I don't shoot it or play like them. So. Yeah, those yeah. are sweet. You know, we got we got to invest in Coach hey. One. We got to get Coach One so he can match them. <laughs> These guys are good looking, though, in anything they wear. So right. Oh, those, are, those are good looking. Well, fellas, appreciate the time. Thanks best of luck them. this year. Thank you. Really nice to visit with you. Coach Pichel, best of luck here going forward. An honor. Thanks for having us.